Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick from Big Bear Weather and More. I just wanted to show you guys some new merch, some different colors, different designs. Check this out. All designs, all colors, and all merch at BigBearWeatherMore.com. What's up everybody, it's March 7th, 2024, and this is during the tail end of this snowstorm that we've had in Big Bear. We are down at the bottom of the mountain on the bottom of Highway 38, going to drive up because I wanted to show you guys what the roads are going to look like going up to Big Bear and coming down. So welcome to the San Bernardino National Forest. This is because also, we, as I said, we're just getting the tail end of this storm. And it doesn't look like we have any snow in the forecast for a long time to come, so I'm assuming a lot of people are going to want to come up this weekend. It's Wednesday today, so um, yeah, I just want to make sure that all of you guys who want to come up can see that it's, it's not going to be as bad as you think. And even tomorrow it's going to be better, and then Friday it's going to be even better in terms of road conditions. So, Or it is... Is it Thursday today? It's Thursday, March 7th. Okay, well then, yeah, it's it's Thursday today. But yeah, I just want you guys to feel safe coming up here. And don't forget, if you want to help the channel, go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com and get, your, get you some merchandise. I think you guys will be stoked with the merch. It's, it's really high quality, good stuff. And it will help the channel and the channel's growth significantly. down highway 18 and 330 now we're going up highway 38 we might catch a snowflake or two but pretty much as i said the tail end of the storm just just came through I do hope you guys do come up this weekend if you can because it's going to be probably the last of really killer skiing conditions. I went today, I'm posting that video, um, not tomorrow but the following day, and you guys will see it's, it's just, the snow was amazing, there was a lot of it, and I want you guys to be able to experience that because as I said, we have temperatures that are going to be in the 60s next week, so I think stuff's going to really start melting. Of course, we get snow all the way into May, you guys, but <laughs> ski resorts are usually only open until April 1st or April 15th, usually. So I want to make sure you guys get up here for this. It'll probably be the last chance for good, good snow. And that's why I want to show you guys these roads going up and down the mountain so you can see with your own eyes it's not going to be that bad. less windy, less cliffs to fall off. You, you do go 
go up to a much higher elevation, so sometimes there can be a little bit more snow towards the top, but it's, uh, for me, I, I like it better. It's, I, I think overall a little bit safer.
about, babe? The Lakeview Point, as soon as you, you enter the little Arctic Circle, that little turn off where you can see, see the lake across the canyon. Like, as soon as you enter the, the little Arctic Circle. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. I love that view. The lake looks really so looks tiny so from there, doesn't it? Yeah, it's <laughs> it just looks like a puddle. List. I love that view. It looks like it's like above the lake. Looks like it's above. Yeah, it totally yeah. does. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely, like absolutely, absolutely so beautiful. So but it is funny how it, it it just looks like a little puddle uh -huh. <laughs> from from all, all the way across the canyon. Right now it's 11.02. I perceive we'll probably be back in Big Bear a little bit before 12. Probably at my house in, in about one hour from now. Does that sound about right, babe? outside that's gonna be nice right um we i feel like we still have we have a lot of puddles in, up here during springtime it rains a lot during spring doesn't it so well summer is is when our monsoon season comes in okay no i just uh the, first of all the, these mountain sides right here they're like covered in the california poppy flower so beautiful it's like an orange all those orange flowers yeah all, all those yellow ones that smell so good. Oh my gosh, and then the yellow ones that smell so good. I don't know what those are called. And then I always forget. Sunflowers start growing. So I just love the springtime because everything starts to blossom. <clears throat> Guys, if you're driving up here, um, especially Highway 330 in late March, it's like soon or like through like mid mid April, early May, I'm telling you, roll your windows down for that drive. It's 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 such a beautiful potpourri scent because of those yellow flowers. And it's really weird. You'll notice that they grow all all along the whole road, but it's always right where they like uh, used explosives to create the space for the road. They aren't they're they're, they're not like 20 feet above the road or below the road. They're like right at the end. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, really neat, but it, they smell so incredible. People always tell me what they're called, babe, and I always forget. It's, it's some long name. But yeah, they smell so good. I can't wait for that. Even back on Highway 138, towards like Silver... Is it called Silverwood? Or what's that lake back there called? Uh, Silver something lake. Silver Point or Silverwood or Silver Something Lake. That highway 138 gets a bunch of those yellow flowers as well. And it's just, it is so smelly in the most beautiful way. Yeah, you guys can see a little snow on the sides of the roads here. Nothing big. So far, the drive's good. Usually, if there's going to be a chain checkpoint, it's coming up here in Angeles Oaks. I'll show you guys usually where it is. Obviously, they're, well, I shouldn't say obviously, but they're probably not having any chain requirements right now. Which means tomorrow. You're going to be better off tomorrow and then better off Saturday and Sunday. But get your buns up here, everybody, and come enjoy the last yeah, really good skiing. It really is so so pretty up here, even in the dark.
red slip. No, that's that's impossible. You'd have to be going like <laughs> in reverse. <laughs> it literally takes nine or ten. It takes me twenty minutes. I have probably thirty or forty videos showing everyone that it takes less than ten minutes to get from that parking lot. Yeah. At the top, down to the Mitsubishi plant. Okay, no, I'm talking about down to like two forty seven. The mobile station where the old the old dyno oh. uh, gas station used to be. Okay. It's turned into a mobile station. Okay. Yeah. That might make yeah. Yeah, like, it takes I me can, twenty minutes. I can to see get that. There. I can see that. I thought you were talking about from the top to the Mitsubishi plant. <laughs> like, are you walking? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so this is where the chain checkpoint usually is. Right where that sign that says drive with caution. Icy roads ahead. 34 miles per hour right here is where they'll usually stop you. But, yeah, we are going to drive with extreme caution and enjoy the... the temperature the... now? 34. So usually at 34, my car, when I had my Mitsubishi, would ding. For icy roads. My car, my my new Subaru at 37 will like oh. warn me saying roads may be icy. Yeah. I didn't know your Kia did that, babe. That's really cool. Not my Kia, my old, oh. my nice oh. beautiful Mitsubishi yeah. that got destroyed. Yeah. That was a great car. Yeah, that was a great car. I but miss it a lot. We work really hard. Someday we're gonna be able to get stuff like that back. I'm not worried about it. Good. I'm super, super proud of you. Oh, potholes. Oh, potholes. I want to get a Range Rover next. But I'll have to. I want to, to get a Discovery. The Sport. Same company. Yeah, it's the same yeah. exact company. Land Rover. But I want to get Discovery Sport. I mean, it's such an affordable car if you guys look it up, and it has all the things that I needed to have. I'd probably be okay driving one of those. It's really nice. Maybe if, if we bought two of them, we, we could... Uh, that would be nice. We could yeah. follow each other around. No, I'm saying we could get a much better deal. Oh. Yeah. That's possible, too. Yeah. Follow each other around. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of your mind, man. <laughs> you follow me. <laughs> well, if we want to get down the hill in 25 minutes when it should take 10, then you'll be following me. <laughs> <laughs> well, then in that case, you're definitely going to be following me because we're going to take 25 minutes to get down. <laughs> hey, you know what? Fair enough. Or you can go ahead and just wait for me at the bottom. Don't call me goat head. <laughs> I mean, it's so unbelievable how a tree is growing out of a rock. Isn't that crazy, babe? Yep. It is very crazy. Look at How is that even possible? It's probably growing in between the rock. At least that's what I, I would think. Or, well, it or, looks to me like it's coming right out of the rock. Well, that's pretty darn cool then. Look at all these Christmas trees. Oh, yeah. I know where I'm coming next year. <laughs> God, this drive is so peaceful this late at night. It's so peaceful. <clears throat> Again, guys, it's 11 11 right now. It's 1111. Maybe we'll see some of the wildlife. I was just thinking about seeing a deer. I remember one of the times we drove up here, we were talking about it, and then right around like That's right. the next turn, right next to a bridge. It may have even been. No. It was. It looked like this area. Yeah. <laughs> totally did. The whole area looks the same, but it definitely was somewhere around here. And it was hiding around the corner, huh? In the dark. Yeah. And then we, t we turned around to come see it. 
I used to see a lot more deer on, on this mountain range, but in the Lake Arrowhead side of, of, of the mountain range, I'd see, I'd see them a lot as a kid. On this side of the mountain range, I've hardly seen them, which is just so weird. In nine years, I've probably seen on Highway 38 or Highway 330 to 18 to get into Big Bear, maybe, maybe 10 in the whole nine years that I've been up here and I'm always driving. Now Highway 38, this road, once you get into the Big Bear area, I've seen one deer over there. I don't remember. I've, I've never seen a deer on the Little Arctic Circle. I don't know what the heck happened to them. There were so, so many more in this mountain range. But maybe, maybe we'll get lucky, babe. If we do, it's gonna be a really good luck sign. If we see a cute little Bambi. Well, I know when I first moved up here, I was hiking suggest you guys try to drive up here um, while it's uh, try to get up to at least this area by about 11 a.m. or so 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 the temperatures are typically above freezing at that point and try not to get here any, any later than like 4 p.m. just to make sure you get here while the temperatures are above freezing to give yourselves the safest best chance to have zero issues. These late night treks are, are not necessarily what you want to do unless you're comfortable like me and you're trying to avoid all the traffic and just want to cruise. Then yeah, these late night rides are just wonderful. I know my wife likes them too. When I come back up from LA, I like to come late. Because I know I'm not going to hit traffic and more than likely there's not going to be someone behind me. Yeah. And it's not as scary once you get used to it. Again, don't, I... don't become complacent, guys, once you get used to it. But she's absolutely right. It's, it's, it's you know, yeah. it's, it's not nearly as scary. Sorry for interrupting. Go ahead. No, that's okay. I, I mean, the reason I say it's not as scary is because once I got used to it, it was a lot easier for me. But when I first started driving, I was so scared. I used to cry. Now, I don't cry. Uh, I remember you crying last last year. <laughs> That's because he 
told me not to come this way and I came this way anyway and it was full snowing and I was in the Kia and I called him and said I should have listened to you <laughs> <laughs> dang straight <laughs> guys will melt during the day and what doesn't evaporate that goes on to our road here is going to turn to ice so if we get like three four feet of snow if you come up here th three weeks later knowing that it hasn't snowed for three weeks don't let that fool you because you can still get very icy roads very frequently because of the snow melt and then refreezing at night Wait to lay down, man. I'm not like too tired to like drive. It's just my body's tired from. Do you want me to drive? No, absolutely not. Why like, not? I, I, I just said I'm not tired to drive. My body's just tired from from a long day skiing and then not sleeping well last night in anticipation for skiing and a few other things. But I don't mind driving. Well, thanks, babe. I, I got out of control. You don't have to be scared. Thanks, babe. I got out of control. <laughs> He's scared, guys. <laughs> you guys have no idea. <laughs> She's a right, <coughs> a right side driver, so she like drives like on the right line. Right, babe? Yeah, and he's <laughs> a middle of the road driver. He drives right in the middle That's of the road. That's dang straight. <laughs> All right, so we are. We need okay, to. Those bumps on the side tell me when I'm going too far. Okay. The ones that go brrr, brrr, brrr. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Alright. I had to focus a, 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 a little bit more. I just felt a little bit of a slide. Minor, but still. It's still a little bit of a slide. We're going 30. Look, guys. It looks like a, a, a whole lot faster. We're going 35. And I think we're going to be passing soon that like mudslide area. Did we already pass it? I don't know. Why? Is there a mudslide? No, but last year we had that huge mudslide. Oh yeah, that shut down the road for, for coming, months. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's coming up. Unfortunately, we won't be able to, to see, but there is a lot of damage on the hillside on the right from that. Yeah, that shut this, this road down for months. And we just come up the mountain that day on this side of the road. Or on this side of the mountain. And it was the mud slide. Same we did? day. Mm -hmm. It was the same day. I don't remember that. I do. That's crazy. Well, we got lucky then. We did get lucky. Now it's freezing outside.
love talking to them. I love talking to them. This is my new family. But I didn't sleep worth a darn last night. And so much noise being made in the morning. And then uh, I went skiing for the longest outing I've done all season. Actually, it wasn't bad because I was smart enough to finally put earphones in. Earphones. <laughs> or earplugs, so I wouldn't be so annoyed. And they actually worked, but then it hurts to take them out because I'm like pushing on them so hard sleeping with, with the pillow. It's like painful to pull them out of my ear. I don't know if that's a bad sign or something, but... All I know is the last time I used them, I woke up and I was like, what the heck is in my ear? <laughs> yeah. yeah. When I pulled it out, I still didn't know because I was half asleep and I'm looking at it like, what is this? And then I'm like, oh, that's right. I put your ear clothes. It's snowing right now. I see it. There's a couple little snow flurries coming down, guys. I told you guys. I told you guys we, we would see a couple little snow flurries.
guys, so now we're going to start to make our ascent all the way up to 8,443 feet Onyx Summit. I think right now we're probably about 6,000 feet. So here we go. We're about to cross this Santa Ana River or something. Something like that. If I remember correctly. I don't know what we're crossing right now, but it's something. <laughs> watching right now don't forget if you're gonna come up here and go skiing and snowboarding and you need to get your skis and snowboard rentals go to get boards on Big Bear Boulevard the ride shop is one block away from the village and the ski shop is two blocks away from the village both on the same side of the road on Big Bear Boulevard all the information is in the description of the video if you mention that you're a friend of the channel they'll take care of you and if you bring your own skis and your own snowboards in they will wax it for free Again, if you mention you're uh, a friend of the channel, um, very knowledgeable staff, amazing, amazing staff, very high quality products, um, and they really know what they're doing there, guys. They really know how to fit you perfectly because you want to get the proper skis for your experience level. It's really very important, actually. And if you go to getboards.com and order your lift ticket, you can order a lift ticket through getboards.com. And if you do it 72 hours in advance of the day you plan on going skiing or snowboarding, you'll save a few bucks. Wow, look at these snowflakes, babe. It's
7,000 feet elevation.
Oh, babe, you're going to love it. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Hey, hey. I Don't be flashing my husband. <laughs> Makes my night. Yeah. That was the first person all night of like the 20 cars. <gasps> that they I've... crashed into the, the mountain. Who did? Those people in front of us. No, they didn't. Yes, they did, I swear. No, they didn't. Babe, I watched them. He just crashed right here into the side of this mountain. Right there? Yep, right there. He's right there. Well, they definitely crashed into the side of the mountain. You guys got it on film. So it's at like the 46, 46 minute mark. Way too fast. Maybe, Way babe. too fast. Maybe because there was some snow that looked like it had been hit and some no, snow see, on the I road. I watched him. He definitely did. Wow. I mean, maybe not crashed into it like But like freaked himself on, out enough. But he definitely sideswiped it for sure. Wow. Because he saw like a big dust of, wow. I guess, snow. And the temperature dropped big time. We're at 27 degrees now. Wow, babe. Good, good eye. So good eye. we'll have to, yeah, it's, it, it was at about the 46, 46 minute mark. Maybe they're pulling over because something happened.
come up here when uh, temperatures are typically above freezing. Now up here at Onyx Summit, since it's such high high elevation, your your time frame <clears throat> to be here when it's below freezing is a few hours less, or when it's above freezing is a, a few hours less. order the merch <laughs> it was it was super cute but it scared the living daylights out of me I couldn't believe it and then after skiing today went back to, to do one more clip and there were like three donkeys like right next to his his front door area so I took a little clip and I sent it to you but I knew you wouldn't see it feeling good today so I totally understand you were out like a light most of the day you seem to be doing an awful lot better though so I'm glad to see that do you feel better or do you just really okay good I mean you seem really really out of it all right so we got someone behind us we're gonna I'll just I'll be nice and, and let him uh, since there aren't any cars cars coming he can uh, you can go ahead and pass buddy go for it dude what are you new bro jeez Louise oh, oh, yeah. you're the welcome the I wish I wouldn't have had him speed up like that because it worries me now. I was just trying to be nice to let the faster traffic go, but he shouldn't be going that fast right now. It's really nice. Even after hitting the mountain, I know still you, you would think that would shake you up bad. a bit. Like that would have sh shooken me up big time because I would have been thinking on on a lot of other spots that hill probably wouldn't have been there and I could have gone off the cliff like he's very lucky or she's very lucky or, or whatever they are very lucky because there could be two people uh, that's true and maybe the passenger could have been severely hurt Sign that says Big Bear 
city. So as you guys can see, the roads don't look like there's anything on them, right? You know, that's what they call black ice. I've slipped on black ice before. Yeah, so I. One of the worst times was pulling out of our, our driveway. I just kept sliding across Moonridge. I'm like, what is going on? It was, it was freezing rain, which is the worst stuff you can ever drive in. That was, I think you were with me and I, I didn't do my whole drive at all. I was like, I just can't, it's way too sketchy. That was maybe last season, maybe. It was, it was scary. You guys don't want to be driving in freezing rain. They call it freezing rain because as soon as it hits the ground, it instantly freezes. And it's just it's just ice. No, nope, I don't care if you have chains on all four tires, it does not matter. You are not gonna go anywhere on freezing with freezing rain. there it was a little bit sketchy but for the most part it was pretty easy peasy drive not a huge huge big deal and again tomorrow it's gonna be easier Saturday it's gonna be even easier Plug in my uh, 
big screen will really be able to tell. I believe you. I just can't believe that I, I didn't notice. I mean, I caught the very end of it. So I'm super excited to see it. The replay of it, too. Since they're safe. Or right? Of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. sore from sitting down for so long in the car. It's 30 degrees. It's about to be 31 degrees. Probably in the next 15 seconds.
that's cool on the way down and on, on the way up we hit some snow flurries when the storm was supposed to be gone. Get up here and go skiing.